Hey everybody, Black Ninja 797 here, and welcome back to another episode of Myth Busting Mondays. Get ready, because for this week's episode, we not only have a great mixture of both Left 4 Dead and Back for Blood Myths here today, but we also have got an epic and crazy final myth. The final myth is going to be ending up taking inspiration from last week, where we ended up testing whether or not the hunter could jump through solid the glass. And for this episode, the final myth is going to be testing that now with a charger, and we're going to be seeing if a charger can run through solid glass. So I hope you look forward to today's episode and that final myth. If you end up enjoying today's episode as a whole, please definitely show your support by dropping a like, comment, and subscribe, and all that beautiful stuff. If you guys have a specific myth of your own that you would like to see featured in next week's episode, whether it be a Left 4 Dead and or a Back for Blood one, just please put them in the comments section down below. But yeah guys, as always, let's get on with this week's episode of Myth Busting Mondays. Myth. Can Dan play Back for Blood? But on a serious note, Dan's back for blood working shocks me because it hasn't worked in months, and the fact that it's now working all of a sudden is a myth in its own right. <laughs> but now to the actual episode. Myth. Can the explosion of a propane tank set off a bear trap in Back for Blood? Alrighty guys, so for the very first myth of the episode, this is submitted in by my boy, Doug Tyler. So for the myth guys, we're going to be testing out the friendly and the enemy bear traps because there might be the possibility that one is set off and the other one is not. And if any of them are set off, I'm going to label as confirm. If both of them end up getting set off, I'm going to also label as confirm. But if neither of them get set off, I'm going to label the myth as busted. So for the first one I want to test out is going to end up being the friendly ones. Because I'm going to be loading up like about six of them here in just a second. And we'll just see what's what and we'll go from there. Alrighty guys, I'm not even joking when I said I'm about to have literally around six bear traps. I ended up having exactly six bear traps. So I'm going to shoot the propane here in just a second. Let me know what you guys think the results are going to be in the comments section down below. But here we go. Let's shoot the propane and see if the myth is confirmed or busted. So here we go. We shoot it. And it looks like not a single one has ended up flinching at all. But keep in mind, this is only the friendlies. This could very well make sense. So now let's try the enemies ones. Alrighty guys, so it took us a minute to find propane and an enemy bear trap, but we did happen to find both now, so let's end up shooting the propane and see. And yep, it blew it up. I would say that's a confirmed myth, don't you say, my friends? Myth. Can a charger charge a survivor into a rescue vehicle and end up triggering the ending cutscene? Alrighty guys, so this next myth is going to be submitted in by Glabersco. Now for this myth, we're going to be testing out in two different scenarios. We're going to be testing in a scenario where I am playing as the charger, and then we're going to be testing it out with a bot charger to see if we can end up getting the result that we're looking to achieve. So right now we're playing on Swamp Fever first because Virgil's bow has a lot of surface area, and I'm going to be trying to charge Dan and see if I can fling him into the boat in such a way that he basically ends up taking me with him. But unfortunately, the very first attempt does not work because the lip of the boat is higher than the pier which leads to me getting stuck and then the guys having to kill me so we can end up re-saying this again now dan had the idea that he would just stand on the upper half of the pier so that way he could end up being more in line with the height of the boat so that is what we're going to be trying next i'm going to alongside dan go up on the upper half of the pier on the railing i'm going to try to charge him that way and see if there's remotely any difference this should work hypothetically just given the fact that it's at height level but never say never so we're just going to end up seeing for ourselves and seeing what's what. Okay, so I'm going to charge at Dan right now, and let's see if I can end up hitting him into the boat. And yep, it did indeed work. The cutscene is taking place as I'm beating Dan's ass on the pier over here. But we are going to try this one more time, just in case, just to make sure that this wasn't a placebo. Alrighty, so for the second attempt, this is going to end up being with an AI charger on Dead Center's atrium, and the cutscene, once again, did trigger, although be it, it was a little bit janky because I was in third person, but it did indeed trigger. Which means that on both occasions here, that it ended up being confirmed, so the myth as a whole is confirmed, and it's really cool, because now we know. Myth. Can the tank that's in the train car on the first chapter of The Sacrifice still spawn in with the director off? Alrighty guys, so for myth number three, this is going to be submitted in by Dan, aka Dr. Sneeze. So what we're going to be doing here for the third myth, guys, we are going to be just simply turning off the director and just opening up the train car. It's as simple as that. I'm even curious myself to see if whether or not that the tank is spawned in by the director or the map itself. And based off the captions, you would think that the tank is going to spawn in, but unfortunately, no, he does not. Therefore, meaning that this myth is going to end up being busted, the director must be on to have the tank spawn in, and he's not going to be some exception where he's tied to the map rather than the director like all the other zombies. Myth. Can a special infected that's on fire cause a nearby gas can or propane tank to explode in Back for Blood? 
Alrighty guys, so for the next myth, this is going to be submitted in by Nitwit, and you guys have no idea how much I want to castrate myself trying to do this myth, because trying to get the RNG to get a gas can and a propane tank to spawn in, while also getting the Molotov to end up being in the vendor, and also getting a special infected to run on top of it, was a pain in my ass, so I really hope you guys end up enjoying this myth, because I'm not doing this again. Anyways, rants aside, uh, back for blood, please get mods. But anyway, back to the myth. So we are going to be having a gasoline can and a propane tank going to be right next to each other in a narrow strip of land where there's really kind of like a narrow hallway design and I'm just going to throw a Molotov on one of the random special infected or common infected even that I see and just seeing if a nearby ember or a flame will cause either of the cans to end up exploding. Alright, here we go. So I'm throwing down both the gas can and the propane tank, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to walk up ahead a little bit so that way the director will spawn some more zombies, and I will surely here light them on fire with a Molotov. And now I'm going to be making my way back over to the propane tank and the gas can. I just want to make sure that the zombies are the ones that are laying it on fire and not me or anybody else. And the zombies are kind of being a little bit finicky here and picky, but some of them are here. And I'm going to throw another one again once I end up breaking free from the special infected. And hopefully we can end up getting our results. But right now, mostly what I'm just seeing is my own demise. But yeah, you can see that the gas cans and the propane tanks did not set off because otherwise there would have been a nuclear holocaust with an explosion in just a second here, which didn't take place. Instead, I'm just burning to death. So that means that this myth is going to end up being busted. The propane and the gas can cannot be set off by a nearby zombie just simply being on fire. But I hope you guys enjoyed the myth nonetheless. Alrighty, ladies, gentlemen, and meme lords alike, we are now moving on to the final myth of today's episode, and once again, it is going to end up being, can the charger charge through solid glass? This takes inspiration from last week's episode, where we talked about if a hunter can do it. So now let's see if the hunter's relative, the charger, can also do it. Myth, can a charger charge through solid glass? Alright everybody, so here we go, final myth time. This is submitted in by Zoe, and you guys can see that I have a solid glass window right behind me here on dead center, the charger's favorite map. And I'm just going to be spawning in a bot charger in just a second here, and just seeing if whether or not that he can ram me through this solid glass and end up possibly killing me. So we're just going to be going into the console commands, and we're just going to be going over to the charger, and I'm just going to spawn him in and nothing else. And let's just see if whether or not that the charger can charge through solid glass. So we're just going to be spawning him in here in just a second. I just have to wait for Dan to be revived because I didn't want to cut the footage and make you guys think that we shot the glass beforehand, so that way you guys know this was all in one cut. So I'm going to spawn the charger in now after Dan's been revived, and here we go. So here he comes, so the charger hits me, and I indeed go through the window, and even Glabursko technically got hit if you watch the footage back. But yeah, the charger not only ended up hitting me into the glass, but also through the glass, which means that the final myth is going to end up being confirmed. So as always, the charger is once again the king of dead center. Alrighty guys, so that's going to be it for another episode of Myth Busting Mondays. I do truly hope you guys ended up enjoying, and if you did, please consider dropping a like, comment, subscribe, follow, and all that beautiful stuff. And as always guys, if you have a specific myth of your own that you would like to see be featured in next week's episode, please by all means just put them in the comment section down below, or even in my Discord, because I do have a custom Myth Busting Mondays tab in there as well. There's going to be a link down below in the description. If you guys would also like to financially support the channel, I would also appreciate if you guys could go check out my Patreon. It's once again always linked down below in my YouTube video descriptions. Or you guys could use supporter creator code BLACKNINJA797 in all caps in the Fortnite Epic Games item shops. Because that makes my very first sponsor. They're sponsoring today's video, so shout out to Epic Games. But yeah guys, I hope you end up enjoying seeing another YouTube video from the most unique YouTuber as ever going to see. Thank you for watching guys, I love all of you, and peace out. Hey meme lords. Jesus here, and you better have enjoyed that video there by the eternal god Daddy Ninja. You should probably subscribe too, or the mighty Moab will come for your balls. If you enjoyed the video, you might like it too, and give me the memes. Flash, bing, boom! Myth, can the hunter dab in Left 4 Dead 2? Even Left 4 Dead is not safe from cringe.